the basic structure of a website. So first we're gonna start with the file and folder structure. It's important to keep the contents of your website organized. Folders should have simple one word names. Multi-word names can be faked by using the underscore character like so product underscore images, course underscore files, rather than saying product space images like you would just writing in English. In the root folder of your site, root is the common name for the top level directory of a website. You'll place an HTML document called HTML. Index.html is the home page, the first page visitors see when they arrive at your website. The index.html file name is set in stone because Unix-based HTTP servers are configured to look for a document named index.htm or html when no additional file name is specified in the address bar. So for example, if you're searching for website.com, the server will automatically look for website.com slash index.html, the home page. You will also have a folder reserved for your images. This folder is usually called images or IMG. So let's take a look at the typical file folder structure of a simple website. So here we have a big folder. We're gonna call it my website. Within that folder, we have our index.html file, our homepage. And we also have a folder within that folder called images where we're gonna, we're gonna hold all of our images like the logo.jpg file. Then we also have another folder called downloads, or it could be something else, but in this case, it's gonna be called downloads, where we can store some more HTML files like things.html. And then we have another folder called biographies, where we can store a biography HTML page like brad.html. So let's assume this directory lives at the web address www.website.html. Dot com. Navigating to things.html within the downloads folder would look like this in the address bar, website.com slash downloads slash things.html. Navigating to logo.jpg within the images folder would look like this, website.com slash Im images slash logo.jpg. The name of any file or folder you create as a part of your website structure will eventually become part of a URL. URLs have some restrictions as far as the, as far as the characters that can be used within them. So it's important to be aware of them. So these characters are not allowed in URLs, things like tabs, spaces, uh, brackets, uh, curly braces, backslashes, um, things like that. Some special characters are allowed in URLs, like the at sign, equals, ampersand, percent, pound, forward slash, question mark, colon, and semicolon. Spaces are certainly not allowed in URLs. You can fake spaces by using the underscore, like so, my underscore website, cute underscore dog, awesome underscore things. URLs are mostly case sensitive, which means if you have an image, called logo.jpg, all lowercase, and you reference it in your address bar or HTML as logo with a capital L, the server probably won't find it. The best approach uh, is it's widely accepted among most, profe most professional web developers to only use lowercase alphanumeric characters and the underscore when naming files and folders. So instead of this, my best website with a uh, capital in front of uh, the each first letter is a capital and spaces like normal English. Uh, you want to use something like this instead. My best website, all lowercase, no spaces or my underscore best underscore website, no capitals and underscores in replacement of the spaces. Hopefully that makes sense. Hopefully that was clear as mud because we're moving on. <laughs>